my first three days, I actually stayed with an indigenous artist, um, a gentleman by the name of Gilberto. And like me, he sources indigenous materials, but in the Paraná rainforest. And so I stayed with him, kind of learned about his practice, the things that he does, how sourcing his own materials impacts his work and his aesthetic choices. And then we went out into the, the rainforest to uh, look for rocks and clay that we could turn into glazes. And so it was really uh, a kind of a spiritual connection to talk to somebody who has been doing this for two or three decades, has a lot of experience, and a very strong connection with the landscape. I think sometimes we take for granted what we have here in the States, especially when it comes to art materials. Um, you can get just about anything you want, clays, glazes, uh, raw materials, it's all at our fingertips where it's there, they don't have that access to materials, so they have to learn how to improvise, and through that improvisation, great things happen. We bought every single brick in the region. And so we actually ran out of bricks and we had to make do with some of the materials on hand. The art center is in the heart of the city and so they worry about theft. They can't leave tools out and so equipment is scarce. And a lot of times we found ourselves having to makeshift uh, equipment or uh, infrastructure like the roofing. And so I think like uh, probably the best thing I came away with was an attitude, a more positive attitude um, about what it takes to be a maker and uh, what, what you need to be successful. 